KLN TV 35. Good evening and welcome to Gus Spiel Memorial Park, home of the Freeland Little League, where tonight, Freeland Little League action as the Freeland Fire Company takes on Freeland American Legion. You are looking live at Gus Spiel Memorial Park in Freeland, home of the Freeland Little League. Thank you for joining us tonight for Little League Baseball here on WYLN. I'm Marty Burns, joined once again by Joe Flanagan, Jim Burns on the stats, and Joe, the best news of all, a little home game for both of us tonight. Yeah, it's the closest game we've had in years, Marty, and we're both running late, so. <laughs> and, and we didn't have to worry about snow. Yeah, no, it didn't snow in Freeland, so that's good. Yeah, it's good to be back, spent a lot of time on this field, played here, uh, umpired here, and coached here, so it's good to be back where I, where I learned a little bit about baseball. Oh, you learn quite a bit. You don't give yourself enough credit, my friend. You know, you, you know, since since MMI put the fields over there, it's good. If you look in the background, you have MMI playing, playing a game down there. My junior high team's practicing over on the other field. So it's a really good sports complex and a great day for uh, outdoor sports in uh, Freeland. And the, uh, it, you bring that up, the investment that MMI has made in this area to put uh, the, some of the sports fields for their teams. Yeah. Oh, like I said, Marty, it's 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 a really good it's a really good place to to ha, put, ha, see baseball. There's a good soccer field, softball field, um, and then of course Little League baseball has been here for years. So it'll be uh, it's good to see everybody out playing and and get some normalcy back into our world. Getting a look at Aliyah Blanyar finishing up her warm-up tosses. We did not see her pitch Friday when we were over at Hazel Township. The big victory by Freeland American Legion. She's going to have, as part of her defense, Kevin Galici at first base. Alexander Noki is at second. Matthew Santana is the shortstop. Xavier Morales is the third baseman. In left field, it's Chris Noki. Jake Barna is in center. Gavin Juracek is patrolling right field. And as I mentioned, Aliyah Blanyar is pitching. Marty, it's it's when we when when we saw this team last time, we saw Legion play last Friday night. You know, if early on they, they you know the game sort of was, got, was out of control, and uh, they came in and pitched well, played defense well, and took control of that game in the second and third innings. So interested to see what the other Freeland Little League team has, the uh, Freeland Fire Department, and. Uh, I think it'll be a good game. You know, always good to get those uh, two local teams playing against each other on a beautiful night. And Jared Santana, who started on the mound last Friday night, he is behind the plate for Aliyah Blanyar. And the lineup put forth by Freeland Fire Department under the direction of Keith Hawes. Jason Gotch is the shortstop leading off. Brain Shuck, the catcher, hits second. John Cherquina, the pitcher, hits third. First pitch in for a ball, 1-0. and Matty Myers, the first baseman, will hit fourth. Connor Hawes at second base will hit fifth. Eli Brands, the third baseman, will hit sixth. One and one the count. Mason Bell in left field will hit seventh. Logan Harvilla, the center fielder, will hit eighth. Aiden Algier, the right fielder, will hit ninth. Two and one the count on the fire department leadoff hitter. And Joe, if we thought Friday night was a nice night, how about tonight? Beautiful night, great night for baseball. There's a nice piece of hitting. And it gets by Barna. Heading to second with a leadoff hit is Gotch. Good, 
Good hit there by Gotch. You see it right here, Marty. Really stroked it, got up. Brain no. shock, the catcher steps in. You know, at one thing I see Blonde, you know, throwing strikes, letting him hit the ball. And that's important. You know, we don't want you know, you don't wanna don't wanna walk people. Don't no free passes. This one hit to the right side. Coming on and making the catch is Juracek. The throw to second. They get the double play. Heads up play in right field by Gavin Juracek. Real nice play there by Juracek. And, and, you know, again, base running errors, Marty and Little League, always turn costly. You, you know, got a little too far off the base on a liner. You just got to freeze and make sure before you start running double play tick. Two big outs for the Legion. Brings up pitcher John Cherquina. And you like the approach of Shock, trying to hit it to the other side. Oh, no. Juracek had him played perfectly. And I believe that put out was 9-6. I believe that was the shortstop yeah. Santana that covered second. And Blanyard quickly ahead in the count, no balls and two strikes. Just, just like what Blanyard's doing, Marty, throwing strikes, letting them hit it, let the defense make plays, and uh, you know, no, no free passes. And I believe uh, we had the stat last week. The American Legion scored 13 runs, seven of them right reached base via the base on balls. Yeah. Two and two, the count. And we just gave uh, Blanya the jinx there, Marty. She threw, threw two straight balls. <laughs> Listen, it doesn't matter what sport, what age level, <laughs> we're all always doing it, my friend. And the count now goes full after Blanya was ahead in the count 0-2. Oh, no, and it's certainly we're the ones to blame. Yeah. <laughs> you know, here, here, here's here's a big pitch, I think, Marty, for Blanya. Comes back, strikes. Big strike out there by Blanya. After giving up the leadoff double, no damage through half an inning. Fire Department of Freeland, nothing. Freeland American Legion coming to bat. Hey guys, this is Ray Merrill for Blaze Alexander Greater Hazleton. We're talking about TNT. We're talking about trucks and trade-ins. If you've got a truck that you don't want or you're looking for a truck, we've got a huge selection of pre-owned trucks right now. We have got Rubicons. We have got GMCs, Ford Flexes. We have got a Ram Dually Diesel. If you're in the market for a truck or you want to get rid of your truck, you'll never get more ever, ever than it's worth right now. So come on down to 508 Susquehanna Boulevard in Hesiton and see why we'll give you more for the trade that those other guys won't. Welcome you back to Gus Spiel Memorial Park, home of the Freeland Little League. In this Freeland Little League matchup between the Freeland Fire Department and the Freeland American Legion. And what a beautiful shot from up here in the press box. You get a look at right-hander John Cherquina. The lineup he's going to face put out by the Freeland American Legion has Jake Barna, the big star from last Friday night. Leading off in center field, Gavin Juracek, the right fielder. Big play defensively in the top of the first. He hits second. Jared Santana, the catcher, hits third. Leah Blanyard, the pitcher, hits fourth. Chris Noki, the left fielder, hits fifth. Xavier Morales, the third baseman, hits sixth. Kevin Galicia, the first baseman, will hit seventh. Alexander Noki at second base will hit eighth. And Matthew Santana, the shortstop, hits ninth. As we mentioned against the big right-hander, John Cherquina. He'll have behind him defensively Matty Myers at first base. Connor Hawes is at second. Jason Gotch is at short. Eli Brands is at third base. In left field, it's Mason Bell. In center field, Logan Harvilla. In Algier is the right fielder. Brain Shock doing the catching. For the big right-hander, John Cherquina. 
let's see if uh, how, how she, we, we haven't seen the Freeland Fire Department yet this, since we've been doing this since this this year, Marty. Let's see how uh, Sir Queen does a good uh, job pitching here. Needs to throw strikes again, and you know I've been beating that horse, but you, strikes are the key. Just about set for the bottom half of the first. We thank you for joining us tonight here on WYLN. Continuing coverage of Little League Baseball here on WYLN. As you see, heading to the bottom of the first on the Blaze Alexander family dealership scoreboard. Barna really set the tone offensively and defensively last last game, Marty. We'll be interested to see how he does. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Come on, John. A little bit of velocity there from Sequina, Marty. And he quickly goes ahead in the count, 0-2. Three pitches and a strikeout for Sherquina. One down here in the first. Gavin Urichek, the hitter. Hey, in the pitch count error, Marty. No waste. Gotta love it. Three pitches, three strikes. Two and all the count on your check. And just as quickly as we <laughs> praised him for getting ahead, he's behind three and all. Again, we talked about that, Marty. You know, uh, uh, looks like a nine or ten year old up there. Uh, strike zone a little smaller, and you know, you start aiming, just got to throw. The 3-0 pitch. Outside ball four. So three pitches in and out. Four pitches and a man on first with one out. Is your check? Bring up the catcher, Jared Santana. Santana did some good hitting uh, last on Friday, Morty. Put the ball in play hard a couple times. Foul tip. Your check will have to return to first. That's one thing I don't miss about umpire and Marty. The umpire, your big target back there. He got hit. Hit him in the shin guard. Doesn't hurt, but not fun. Now the one right off the right off the dome that yeah. tends to wake you up. And quickly ahead in the count, 0-2 is Sherquina. And Juracek will make his way to second. One and two the count. You know, tough, tough call there by the by the umpire. No, no first base, uh, no base umpire to check and see if he swung. And the second strikeout of the night for Sherquina. Juracek remains at second, but now two down. Aliyah Blanier with a chance to help herself. Two out hits, Marty. Two out hits. Huge in all baseball. Any hit in Little League's bit huge, but. Juracek will move up to third. 
little, little different here than Hazel Township, Marty. A little bit more room. Uh, ball sort of dies off the backstop here a little bit. So any pass balls here, interested to see how aggressive Legion is on the base path. Juracek does not venture far from third on that one. Count even set a ball on a strike. One of the things from seeing games here in the past is the way the backstop is angled. You can get different ricochets yep. that can go in any kind of direction. Yep, a little bit, a little bit deceiving. Hit to the right side. Haas up with it. The throw to first in time to the retire of the side. Through one inning of play, it's no score live. Little League Baseball from Freeland here on WYLN. At Grand Central, our family has been supplying your family with quality brand name furniture, mattresses, and appliances for over three generations. Whether you choose from our excellent selection of Lazy Boy, Catnapper, or England furniture, or from our fantastic selection of Sealy and Stearns and Foster mattresses, we guarantee total comfort in every room of your home. With expert advice, everyday low prices, plus interest-free financing for up to 60 months. From our family to your family. Grand Central and Hazleton, everything to make your house a home. We welcome you back. Scoreboard brought to you by Blaze Alexander Family Dealership. Heading to the top of the second. Each team had a runner reach scoring position, but weren't able to capitalize, so no score. Heading to the top of the second, due up for the fire company. Maddie Myers, Connor Hawes, Eli Brands, four, five, and six. Right now, Joe, the play of this first inning was that nice play in right field by Juracek to get the double play. Yeah, and, 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 and a real real nice play by Hawes in the uh, bottom to make that put out, keep the run from scoring. So, you know, defense showing up here early in Freeland, Marty. You know, and, and Marty, it, it, you know, and that's that's one of the things with throwing strikes and having not a lot of walks. It keeps the defense on their toes. Defense making good plays makes not only the game go faster, but everybody just heads in the game a little better. First baseman Maddie Myers leading off. 1 and 0 the count. Count evens at 1 and 1. Sharply hit and right back at Blanier fields are positioned nicely one down. She made a play like that uh, Friday morning. The little double play at shortstop. Good glove by Blanya. Helping herself. Brings up second baseman Connor Hawes. Doing all the count. Pulled third base side, two and one.
Foul back. Not anywhere near us, my friend. <laughs> Thought a, a little bit more territory between us here in Freeland than in Hazel Township. Oh. Not exactly a fence in our for our safety. And I guess they didn't want that slushy. They got that ball right back <laughs> to, in. To it back in. Good play by the first baseman for the Legion. Count now goes full at three and two. And Connor Oz draws the one out walk. Eli Brands, the third baseman, will step in. Here's both coach saying, keep them high pitches up there, Marty. And it's, it's funny, as you see, every, almost every Little League team, that high pitch, kids like to swing at. Well, as we said last week, why do you swing at it? Because I saw it great. Yeah. sure where that Man. caught him, but Eli seems to be all right. I think it got him in the head, Morty. And again, the helmets doing their job. So fire department with a threat here with Mason Bell, the left fielder, stepping in. Oz at second, Brands at first, one down here in the top of the second. One's in for a strike at one and one. Big cut, big cut there by Belmore. Took a big swing at it. The one two pitch. Tie two and two. You know, you don't want to, again, Marty, that, that, that lower part of the order getting on, get it back to the top. Always s scary to have people on base when the top comes up. Lanier picks up her second strike out of the ball game and a big second out. It's a big out, very big out. Center fielder Logan Harvilla. Steps in. Two on, two out. No score here in the top of the second. It's just tough, Marty. You, you know, you see Blanyar looking. Nothing, not, you know, nothing she could do, you know. And, and right, right there, it's just, you know, you're aiming a little bit, not throwing the ball. Just, you know, good job by coach here. Just go talk to her. Well, and, and, you know, you see that so often at this level. When a smaller hitter comes up, you tell them not to aim, but they're doing it anyway because they feel they got to get it so low into that particular hitter's strike zone. It's different than when you and I were playing and we had a strike zone the size of a Grand Canyon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, small strike zone was never my... No, <laughs> neither mine. I think the only record I have here, Marty, is I, th I think I gave up two grand slams in an inning once. Nice. Ain Alger, the right fielder. Bases loaded, two out here in the second. Again, like I said, Marty, just real good job by the Legion coaches going out, talking to her. Slowed her down. You know, this nine hitter, I believe, correct, Marty? Yes. You know, this is a big out right here. I mean, you know, if you could get out of this with no damage, two beans and a walk, and... Uh, Get, get out of this, it, it's big out. And Blanier will get out of it with the strikeout. So through an inning and a half, the score remains no score between Freeland Fire Company, Freeland American Legion,
Watching live high school, or high school, Little League Baseball on WYLN. Frankie's Box Tavern Pizza is making its way to the shelf in your grocery store. Look for our crisp white box where you do your weekly shopping. We're delivering fresh each and every morning. Twelve slices of our signature recipe that can't be beat. You'll love the taste of our version of a hometown tradition. Membership opportunities are now available at the Valley Country Club, 79 Country Club Lane in Sugarloaf. Clubhouse upgrades are in progress and will be ready for the spring. Call Frank Radis for details at 570-233-5328. We welcome you back. Gus Spiel Memorial Park, home of the Freeland Little League for this Freeland Little League matchup between the home team, Freeland American Legion, and the visitors of the Freeland Fire Company. Freeland American Legion getting for the, ready for their second cracks at John Sherquina. Be five, six, and seven in their lineup. Chris Noki, Xavier Morales, Kevin Galicia to hit here in the bottom of the second. And while we have a moment, need to thank the third base luncheonette for supplying our crew meal tonight as they have all season long and for so many seasons here on WILN. Many thanks to the third base luncheonette located just off of 9th Street in Hazleton. Proud supporter of WILN Sports. Let's see what uh, Sarquina does this inning, Morty. What would you do with those bubbles then, Joe? <laughs> I don't know. It's like a regular... It's real nice. Yeah, it's cool. that's a cool thing. It's like a regular machine down there. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but the best at Freeland Little League, Morty. Chris Noki leads off. Down in the count 0-1. Great shot from our center field camera. Evens the count at a ball and a strike on our bottom of the second inning scoreboard. Brought to you by Blaze Alexander Family Dealership. That's a real nice shot, Marty. Two and one the count on Chris Noki, the leadoff hitter in the second inning for Freeland American Legion. As I remember, he's he's the one, I think, the other night that kept wanting to jump at that high pitch, and <laughs> he's staying off it here. Must have had practice over the weekend, Morty. He's ahead the count, three and one. Count goes full three and two. Job by Sarquina there, Marty. Coming back from 3-1. It's his third strikeout of the ball game. We'll bring up the third baseman, Xavier Morales. And through this first inning and a third. For the most part, Sherquina has been pumping that strike zone. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, you know, like the 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 time he didn't, his defense played pretty well behind him to get outs, and it's the nature of the game in baseball, Marty. Get outs, and maybe more so at this level, the team that can go without giving extra outs mm -hmm. is going to be the successful one. It's a hundred hundred percent, Marty. I, you know. We would we would talk about uh, you know just just get those 18 outs any way he could get them. That one almost bounced off of home plate and over the screen. Two and 
Two and one the count on Morales. This one popped up in the infield and Sherquina not to be outdone by Blanier got off the mound nicely to make the catch. Yep, and, and you know, and, and Little League and in most youth baseball, you know, a lot of times I don't let the pitcher work, don't make him make them play. Little League, you want the pitcher to make those plays. Kevin Galicia, the first baseman, steps in. Down on the count, 0 and 1. And quickly, Jerquina hand the count, 0 and 2. Just like you said, Marty, he's just hitting the, hitting the strike zone, and that's the name of the game. And he gets strikeout number four on the night, a one, two, three. Second inning, we're through two, no score. Third base luncheonette, still making memories after all these years. We welcome you back to Gus Spiel Memorial Park, home of the Freeland Little League. As we head to the top of the third, trying to track down some substitutions for the American Legion. And we'll take the assumption as we did the other night that They'll hit in the same spot where they went in defensively. It looks like we have Azriel Malloy in right field. Evie Reminar is in left field. And Chase Mumi has taken over at third base. Top the order here, Marty, for Fire Company. It's going to start with Jason Gonch, followed by Brain Shuck and John Chirquina. Gonch had a leadoff double to start the game. Takes first pitch for a ball, 1 0. You know, and it goes back, and, you know, both pitchers are doing a good job finishing innings off, not having a lot of. Tra uh, Traffic on the bases when the when the bigger hitters come up and that's crucial. Foul tip held on to by Santana one and two. That's hit into the hole in, on the left side. And Gotch hustling all the way gets his second double. <coughs> Again, nice job by Gotch there, Marty. Putting in play. And when you put it in play, make the defense make plays. Hustle on the base pass, you get a double. He never even waited, Marty. Just right around the bases, saw it, and just. Brain shucked the catcher. And we'll I, would, I would think he's going to be the same as he was the first time. I'm trying to hit it to the right side and move, yeah. move Gotch over. Hit a real good swing there. <laughs> one and one the count.
Popped up. It's gonna drop into no man's land in short left field. Gotch is gonna head home. On an RBI single by Shuck, he'll move to second on the throw. Now he's gonna try to go to third, and he'll get there. Yep. One nothing, Freeland Fire Department. Two nice pieces of hitting there, Marty. Little pop in, in no man's land down there, right between the shortstop, the third baseman, and the left fielder. And again, good hustling on the base pass. So that potential second run Sitting there at third base for pitcher John Cherquina. What do we always say, Joe? An opportunity to help yep. yourself. Good cut. Yeah. And quickly ahead in the count is Blanyard, 0-2. And Marty, you know, back to what we said, Blanyard's doing her job too, throwing strikes, no free passes, making them earn it. Hit to the right side, Noki knocked it down. Everybody's safe. Coming in to score is Shuck. Two nothing, Freeland Fire Department. Nice piece of hitting there by Sarquina. I'm looking at the, the our official scores are up here. <laughs> Big hard swing right there. A little bit out in front. Yep. Joe. Good hard swing by Myers. Cherquina gets an RBI to make it two nothing fire department. Bounces up there, Cherquina is gonna take off for second, the throw. Not in time, Cherquina will make it safely. That's one of those teaching moments as for a coach there, Marty. Shortstop didn't hold the tag on him. He was off the base, but you gotta hold that tag on him. Myers with a shot to center, just out of the reach of Barna. Cherquina on his way home. Myers to second with an RBI double. It's 3 nothing. fire department. Again, Marty, real nice piece of hitting. Hit it well. Uh, Barna, I just think, hopefully just knocked the wind out of him out there. That was a great hustle by Barna there, Marty. Really going after it. And you'll see, great effort by Barna. Just couldn't get there. I. I it was just out of his yeah, reach. Yeah, real, real good hustle. And the way they're patting him on the back, I think it's almost what you said, Joe. He might have just had the air knocked out of him. Yeah, just you know, dove, dove landed, landed wrong. Because he was at the point of just about full extension. Yeah, yeah, really, tracked it really well. And and I'll tell you what, one little little bit overlooked there is uh, Malloy. The right fielder did a good job getting over there and backing up, getting in and holding to a double because if she doesn't get over there quicker, that's a triple. They continue to talk to Barna. And a nice round of applause, and Barn is going to come off. It looks like he's holding his shoulder. Yeah, yeah, could have landed on it, Marty. And that's one of the great things about the uh, Little League re-enter rule. You could take him out, you know, and if he, you know, it, you could bring him back in later in the game if it's, you know, if he feels better and gets, uh, gets a little ice on that. So Dylan DeWall will come into the game in Barna's spot. Dylan will play second base as Alexander Noki will move out to center field.
This one popped up in the infield, just out of the reach of Santana. That one hit by Connor Hawes, and heads up base running by Myers, moving up to third, so it's first and third with nobody out. Here comes that, you know, first and third situation. Are you running? And I, I, get, I just heard Coach Hawes yell to his base runner during that injury time on Marty, hey, watch out for them pops, and he did it perfectly. So that's what you like to see coaches coaching kids playing. You have Coach Haas foreshadowing as well. Yeah. yeah. Come on, eight. Brands was hit by a pitch his first time up. Big situation here, first and third. Nobody out, three runs in. This one hit to the right side and out of play. That's definitely an E on the spectator. Should have had that one. This one hit right back to the box. Blanier gets the out at first, holds the runner at third as Hawes moved up to second. So it'll be second and third with one out now. That'll bring up left fielder Mason Bell. Mason took some really good cuts his first at bat, Marty. Keith Hawes in the ear at third base of, with Matty Myers. Yeah, hey, one, one out. You don't have to be real aggressive down there. You're putting the ball in play. Everybody is in your team, so. One and one the count. And I think one of the things, as we talked about with that backstop here in Freeland, you'd almost have to get a great lead off of third that to be able to react and then take off if you had the opportunity. And I had the count wrong. I thought it was one and one. It was 0 oh and two as Bell strikes out for a big second out for Blanier. That's her fourth strikeout, brings up Logan Arvilla, the eighth batter in this second, in this third inning. Two and all the count on Arvilla. I think the Blondie are doing a real nice job, Marty. I think just slowing down, trying to hit that target. Two and one the count. One thing you see from this angle, Marty, from our center field camp, one thing, teaching point for the catcher is target's a little high for this batter. You got to adjust to the batter as this target's up by his head. Better that time. Two and two the count. Oz wandered way off of second base, trying to get the attention to maybe get Myers to head home. And Arvilla will strike out the fifth strikeout for Blanier on the ball game, but not before the fire department with three on the board. Four hits, two left. Heading to the bottom of the third, it's 3-0 Freeland Fire Department. Hey guys, this is Ray Merrill from Blaze Alexander, Greater Hazleton, Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. You want a great deal? You're looking for a great truck? You want a great selection? Come check us out. We've got trucks, whether you want a Warlock, a Rebel, whatever trim level you want, we've got them. We've got a plethora of Ram vehicles. We've got a plethora of Jeep vehicles. Why am I using that word? How else do you describe all this inventory? Here's the big close. Don't forget, Blaze Alexander Great Hilton has the lowest price guaranteed. Great shot from the press box here at Gus Spiel Memorial Park, home of the Freeland Little League on the Blaze Alexander Family Dealership scoreboard. Heading to the bottom of the third, Freeland Fire Department just put a three spot up to lead the Freeland American Legion 3-0. 
Coming up for the American Legion in this bottom of the third, it'll be Alexander Noki, Matthew Santana, Dylan DeWall. They haven't, they haven't even got through their order one time yet, Marty. So, you know, that's uh, th they had a sub a little different. I'm sure he wanted to put all four subs in at once, but wanted to get his last subs their first at bat to get them their play role fulfilled. And Sirquina, big, big inning here, I think, for Sirquina Marty. You have 8-9-1. Don't let these the eight or nine hitter on uh, by a walk. Make them earn it. And uh, it'll be a real interesting inning, I think. Nice crowd here, Marty, for for this game today. Well, side of the field, nice beautiful night for baseball. <coughs> Plus, their favorite son is here, Mr. Flanagan. Yeah. <laughs> Not one person's here to see me, Marty. Left hand hitting, Alexander Noki steps in to lead off the third. First pitch bounces in for a ball, one and zero. One and one the count on Alexander Noki. And it's one and two. <laughs> Lead off strikeout for Shirquina, his fifth through two and a third. Brings up the shortstop, Matthew Santana. Batting one of his uh, uh, one of his older kids in the nine hole, Marty. Looking to maybe jump start the lineup here. count on Santana. Good cut by Santana there, Marty. Queen is one, two. Hit to the right side. Haas comes up with it to spin and throw to get the out. What a nice play by Connor Haas. Deep in the hole, Marty. Really good job. You're going to see it right here, I think, Marty. Yeah, you are. Put it in play. Good job of hitting by Santana, but Haas really doing a nice job at uh, 2B today. And it will bring up Dylan DeWall. Hitting at the top of the order, replacing the injured Jake Barna in the top of the third inning. We hope Barna is all right. Dynamic player in this Freeland Little League playing for the American Legion. If he doesn't return tonight, hopefully not a serious yeah. injury. Yeah, yeah. You know, hopefully, like you said, more. It's just uh, hit it hard, and you know, nothing, uh, nothing more serious than that. One and two, the count on the wall. Sherquina 
gets his sixth strikeout. He's retired eight in a row. As we are halfway home through three. Freeland Fire Department three. Freeland American League to nothing. Watching live Little League Baseball on WILN. SJ Kowalski is your Mitsubishi Diamond Contractor. They can install a Mitsubishi Electric, Mr. Slim, ductless heating and cooling system. Mr. Slim systems are designed to make any living space in your home inviting. You can have a different temperature control for every room in your home. The money saving technology can save you 25 to 50% on your heating bill. For Mitsubishi, Renai, and trained comfort specialist, call SJ Kowalski at 570-455-2600. We welcome you back to Gus Spiel Memorial Park, home of the Freeland Little League. Heading to the top of the fourth, the fire department of Freeland leading the Freeland American Legion by a score of three to nothing. Barnyard is going to have to come out here, Marty. You know, with the way Serquina is pitching, you know, runs are going to be hard to come by. She needs a shutdown inning here and get back in there and get uh, get some hits for the Legion, get some base runners. Coming up in the top of the fourth for the Freeland Fire Department, 9-1-2, and two, Aiden Alger, Jason Gotch, Brain Shuck. Field, right fielder Aiden Alger steps in. Leading off the top of the fourth. Uh, you know, again, Marty, we, we, we talked about it. It's a big out here to try to keep the base runner off. Not quickly ahead 0-2. Not afraid to swing the bat, Marty. He's out there hacking. That's good. Like to see that in a younger player. One and two, the count. And Vlanier gets her sixth strikeout, out number one here in the fourth. Bring it back to the top of the order, Jason Gotch, two for two. Two doubles, the last one a hustle double and a run scored to start that three run third for Freeland Fire Department. This one right foul back, back. It here it comes in. Nope. Just a little short, <laughs> just like my jump shot. <laughs> Gotcha's really been the, the uh, offensive leader for this fire company team tonight, Marty. Really getting this, that, that last inning started. Hit right to third, just off the glove of Mumi, and he's not going to get Koch, who was hustling down that first baseline. Hard hit to third. Mumi just couldn't keep it in his glove. Great effort there by Mumi. It hit hard. Made a, made a pretty good throw across the field there. That's a, that's a big, long throw for a smaller player. Third hit of the night for Gotch. Brings up Brayden Shuck. He's officially one for two. An RBI single and a run scored in that three-run third. Santana made a great scoop back there to catch her, Marty. Made a real good scoop. Two and oh the count on Shuck. Count goes to three and oh, as that one gets away from Santana, Gotch. Up to second in scoring position with one down here in the fourth. Fouled off. 
3-0 green light, Marty. 3-0 green light. Tony La Russa would not be happy. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't be giving green lights with a position <laughs> player pitching. This one lined to third, gets into left field for a hit. Koch being waved in. He will score his second run of the game. Second RBI of the night for Brain Shuck. It's 4 nothing Fire Department. Like I said, Marty, runs are going to be hard for Legion to come by if Sarkino pitching the way he is. They really got to start cutting off some of these runs. And it brings up the aforementioned Sarkino. Officially 0 for 2, has an RBI and a run scored. Call for home run Johnny Joe. Well, big so swing is, there. So is John. <laughs> big swing there. Shuck takes off. Santana will tag it out at second, attempting to steal. It's the second good scoop Santana made back there, Marty. And a good throw, real good tag. I'm not... Uh, who is at short now, Marty? Matthew Santana's at short. So Santana to Santana. We had a great shot of not being wrong just by saying Santana. So. <laughs> Count is gone full three and two. Bases are empty. A run in. Two out here in the fourth. The three two pitch. And Sherquina will draw the two out walk. It's going to bring up Matty Myers. Big hit last inning for Myers, Marty. He had a nice base hit. Um, you know, curious to see now. You know, now you got somebody. Uh, thrown out trying to steal. You know, you're going to be as aggressive on the base pass. Myers Same hits one hit. And it's going to drop in the shallow left field. Traquino will hold it second. Two on, two out for Freeland Fire Department. Second hit of the game for Matty Myers. Well, Connor Hawes is up, Marty. Made a good play in the field. There's a real big spot in the game. I, if the Legion is going to stay in it, I think. Oz has reached both times, one for one, walked and singled. Looking for a big two out hit. Hits that to the right side. One strike to count on Haas. Good and job, by the way. She comes back to get the strikeout, her seventh of the game, but not before the fire department adds a run. On three hits, two left. Heading to the bottom of the fourth, it's 4 nothing Freeland Fire Department. We welcome you back to Freeland, heading to the bottom half of the fourth. Freeland Fire Company in front for nothing over Freeland American Legion. And Joe, checking out our schedule, it looks like our next 
Little League matchup is going to be next Thursday, May the 27th. So we head to Whispering Willows Park in Cunningham, home of the Valley West Little League. It'll be May Lass and Goulds. Scheduled start at 6 o'clock here on WYLN. Thursday night, May 27th. May Lass, Goulds from Valley West Little League, right here on WYLN. Yeah, no, the, you know, on our, our little tour, our tour here of uh, Little League facilities, and, and we talked about it last uh, last week, Marty. We are real fortunate. We have some really nice Little League facilities. Absolutely. In our area, f really do. Free, you know, f Whispering Willows is great. Valley East, uh, Valley East is real nice. All the fields are nice. Do up in the bottom of the fourth against Sherquina who's retired eight in a row. Asriel Malloy, Jared Santana, Aliyah Blanyer. <laughs> you know, that's, 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 that's great to see kids out playing, climbing trees. Now here comes here comes uh, a batter with a small strike zone, Marty. So we'll see what happens here to Sarkino. Uh, see if he is gonna throw strikes. First one bounces in there for a ball, one and zero. Oh. As we talked about the other night, check out Malloy's bat. We never had anything like that when we were playing, Joe. No, like I said, we, I think Freeland had, I think our league had like six bats in a bucket. And that's that's what you used. Count even at one and one. The shared, the shared team helmets, I don't think they do that anymore, do they? I don't, um, not between teams. Yeah. When, yeah. when we played Marty, the catcher, we had one set of catching equipment, so you left the mask and the glove right on home plate. Yep. So, you, you know, the other catcher could use it. <laughs> That's strikeout seven for Sherquina. Good, good pit. Impressed, Marty. He's thrown strikes. A little bit of velocity, you know, making kids that, to trusted his defense behind him. Jared Santana, the catcher, steps in. 0-1 oh, the count on Santana. Big cut there, Marty. Pitch is high, count evens a ball and a strike. I think this part of the order here, Marty, with Santana and Blanya here, need to get on base. That one might have caught Shuck right on the knee. You talked about being back there as a home plate umpire. Sometimes you'd get that too and boy. Oh yes. You could get the Star Spangled Banner in your, your head real quick. <laughs> yep. Because that's all you're seeing is stars. Yeah. And you know the shin guards are great. I mean, right. they're, they're tremendous, but there's just that one spot that if you don't have it just the right way, and I think Shuck might have got it right off of his knee. I mean, the ball bounced about 30, almost bounced all the way to first base off those shin guards, so. Yeah. 
And, you know, and, off. and the other thing is the home plate umpire will give him all the yeah. time he needs yeah. because he knows. He's protecting him. <laughs> right, absolutely. When I, when I umpired, I would always say, I would say to the catcher, you have two jobs. Pro catch the ball and whatever cost, protect me. That's your job. That, it wasn't and easy. Should, and that should be first and, first and foremost. <laughs> wasn't easy. Shuck seems to have shaken it off. Gets right back down into the crouch. Two and one the count on Santana. Marty, you see something in your zone, give it a ride. You don't like it, you don't have to swing. Well, Santana liked that one, came up empty, count goes full three and two. The 3-2 pitch. Strikeout number eight for John Cherquina. It'll bring up Aliyah Blanier. Looking to try to get something going with two outs. Her American Legion squad trailing 4-0. Before that pitch, I'll give Cherquina a lot of credit. I think he was pointing out to Connor Hawes your way last time to have your head in oh, yep. the game and remember that. That's uh, quite yep. a heads-up play. Yep, that's like like you said, Marty. The 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 pitchers and the older kids that you know the 11 and 12 year olds on these rosters. That's part of their their job on the team is to help the younger guys out, put them in right positions, and teach them you know some inner thinking of the game. goes two and one. Plonga has a pretty big leg kick there, Marty, if you saw. When she's ready to swing, she uh, had a little uh, timing uh, mechanism there that she uh, taps her foot. Good adjustment there by her. She's in back in the box. Three and one the count. Second base on balls of the night. Stops a streak of 10 in a row, retired by Sherquina. Bring up Evie Reminar to hit here with two out in the fourth. Lanyard takes off for second and will get there safely. What, what, one thing, you know, in Little League that you would try to do when you get uh, two outs, you'd be a little more aggressive on the base paths, Marty. Let's see if that, you know, make the opposing catcher throw the ball around. Are they going to throw it? They're going to get you to third. Put a little bit of pressure on the fire department defense. And that's, you know, you know, you know what's funny, Marty? That's even lacking in Major League Baseball today. No one runs, you know, not a lot of hit and run anymore. Everybody's doing station to station bases. It's because they're waiting for the Earl Weaver three run homer. <laughs>
the one two. Count leaving at two and two. That, you're trying to play a little game there with the catcher. You see right there, Marty. She could go way far because no one was covering second base. So she could go pretty much as far as she wanted to. And Cherquina ends up striking out the side. He's got nine on the night through four. He and his fire department lead it four nothing. Hey guys, this is Ray Merrill from Blaze Alexander Mazda, Greater Hilton. You want to get the most reliable car according to Consumer Reports? You want the largest selection in the area? Check out these new Mazdas. We have 2021 Mazda CX-5s. We have 2021 Mazda CX-30 all-wheel drives. Come on down to the better dealership to get the better car and the most reliable car in the market. You can come see us. They beat Toyota and Lexus. Come to 508 Susquehanna Boulevard in Hilton. Check them out online at blazealexander.com. We welcome you back to Gus Spiel Memorial Park, home of the Freeland Little League. Jake Barna, good to see back in the game in center field for the American Legion. Chris Noki has returned to left field. Gavin Juracek is now in, back in in right field. Looks like his only sub uh, still in Marty is Mumi, and it's he didn't. I believe he hasn't batted yet. He'll be leading off the bottom of the fifth. And I should mention Alexander Noki has moved back to second base with fire department leading four nothing. Six, seven, eight, Brands, Bell, Arvilla. Do up for fire department. That same situation I think we talked about last inning, Marty. Uh, Blonier has needs to give up as little as possible here because, you know, you're running out of swings. You only got six outs left offensively, so you need to really get some quick innings if you're the Legion. And when in Little League is it too soon to... I know we all... We're not superstitious, but when's it too soon to mention a certain aspect? I'm not saying anything. Okay. <laughs> we'll just leave it be then. Brands hits it third base side. Uh, I'll tell you, Coach Haas has to get down on that ball. Well, he does oh. like the Pirates. And and the other thing, though, he is like you. He's, he's keeping book at third base. Uh. <laughs> Although I... I don't, th I don't, I don't like the criticism he's getting from that third base bleacher. Either. <laughs> yeah, no. One and one, the count on Brands. How do you think his scorebook looks compared to yours? Oh. <laughs> one and two, the count. Marty, you just think that's a scorebook. What, yours? Yeah. Are you both just, of you guys, I'll tell you what, you both of keep... you guys, Mr. Burns and Marty, you guys are immaculate with your scorebooks. That's great. Two and two, the count on I did, Brands? Listen, I, I'm not sure either you count well, but, you know, I think he's doing a good job <laughs> at least making it look neat. Count goes three and two here in the top of the fifth. Leadoff hitter for the fire department. Oh. Called strike three. Strikeout number eight for Blanier. And she have, may have reached her pitch limit. You know, well, one thing, Marty, one of my first uh, all-star experiences, 
I was coaching a nine and ten year old team, and I believe it was either the first or second year when the pitch count was in. And it is a nightmare to manage that you have to worry about that. It used to be innings pitched in a week. Well, then when they went to the pitch count, you got counters, you got people telling you, oh, it's a nightmare to manage. But obviously that's what it was. They must be out of pitches or hit a hit a threshold that you can't pitch their next game or, you know. Like things aren't tough on you coaches enough when they start telling you about not only pitch count, but you're, when you reach different pitch count thresholds, determining how many days rest they need. Yeah, it's 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 tough. It is. It, it's not easy on the coaches, and and you know your your dad with the work he does with District 18 of Altria, that is the that is the. Uh, Probably the call he gets the most about is the pitch counts were wrong. How do you do this? How do you do that? And again, you know, looking at your dad's scorebook, he is right on top of it. Go ahead, pump him up. Read the read the line score, Blanier. You can, you know. Four Blanier, four and a third innings, eight hits, four runs, three of them earned. Two walks, eight strikeouts by Blunders. That's a pretty nice day of pitching. Marty, if you could go through four and a third, give up four runs in a Little League game, you got to like your chances. But on the other hand, fire departments defending well and pitching well. And just a straight-up position switch. Blanier moves to first base. You get a look at the reliever, Kevin Galicia. I always like that move, Marty, to put a... Uh, the pitcher at first base or even an outfield position just so they're not, you know, throwing the ball a lot, you know, let their arms rest. Good job by Galicia coming in, throwing strikes. Mason Bell, the first hitter to face Galicia. And that one got him right between the sevens, I believe. Mason Bell will be a one-out base runner. Running over to first, gotta love it. Logan Harvilla, center fielder, steps in. The 1-0. -oh. It's high 2-0. -oh. It would be, you know, I, I, I'm not sure I could throw Mr. Harville a strike here with a strike zone. Three and 3-0 oh the count. Pitch by Galicia. The three one. Ball four, Harvilla draws the walk, so it'll be first and second with one down here in the fifth. Aiden Alger, the right fielder, steps in. <laughs> He didn't want to give his bat up there, Marty. There was plenty of times I would have loved to run the bases with a bat. <laughs> One and all the count. Big hitter here for Galicia yeah. because then it's going back to the top of the order. Pitch. Two and one the count. Count 
count goes to three and one. It hit the bat, went fair. Galicia heads up to come off the mound and make the play at first. Runners move up to second and third. You gotta get them 18 outs any way you can, Marty, and a good heads up play there by Galicia Blonyard. Legion coaches on top of it. Big batter right here. Jason Gotch, three for three, two doubles, a single, two runs scored. And another pitching change. We saw her last week, Blanier will go to short. Galicia returns to first. Now the battery of Santana to Santana's. Matthew Santana will be pitching to Jared. That is gonna be easy to uh, remember that, Marty. I'd still mess it up. <laughs> You know, and that you know, it's one of those things. It's just one of those big parts of the game here, Marty. If if if, if Goats gets on here, you know, two runners on base, it's going to be six nothing. You know, you're out of the game. It's a big, big batter in this game, and uh, Galicia got he got an out, walked the batter. You know, did a nice job out there. And just as you had talked about earlier, what. American Legion would love to do here is get this third out and let's get the bats going. And in, and 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 it's just like anything, that bottom of the sixth, bottom of the ninth, bottom of the seventh, that it's just tough. It's tough to get those last three outs when you're winning. And you know, I, you know, I I don't know what uh, where their pitching situation is with Fire Company. You know, uh, will we have enough pitch? Will they have enough pitches? To, for the start and finish, we'll find out, but uh, that's gonna be key also, Morty. Marty, how come they always put the press boxes at Little League right on top of the concession stand because the food smells really good and uh, hopefully the stand's open afterwards and we can get some. They, um, they really don't think much of our work. They'd rather just have us eat. <laughs> You're probably correct. <laughs> Back to the top of the order. Gotch, first pitch swinging. It's, it's, it's hard, Marty, uh, you, you, see, you see Coach Haas down there with a, with a, probably one of his younger players, a first or second year player. You know, you don't want to run him out of an inning by trying to get that fifth run in. This one hit to the left side. Blanier comes up with it, she has no play. Coming in to score, Bell, it's five nothing fire department. And again, you're at first and third situation, Marty. Um, you have a feeling Goach is going to take off here. Shuck, two for three, two singles, two runs batted in, and a run scored. You know, when you, when you come down to it so far tonight, Marty, Fire companies, just when they've had people on base, have done a better job hitting the ball and just putting it in play, really. Mm -hmm. 
Gotch moved up to second, so it's second and third with two out, a run in here in the fifth. It's 5 nothing. Fire Department on the Blaze Alexander Family Dealership scoreboard. Two and one the count on catcher Braden Shuck. Can always watch ducking under those pitches, Marty. You know, sometimes the umpire loses where you are in a strike zone, and you get, you know, you'll get you'll get one of those close car calls against you once you do it. This one pulled and fair down the third base line. Arvilla scores. Gotch scores. Heading to second with a two-run doubles, Brain Shuck, his fourth run batted in on the game. Right down the line, Marty, hit it. Right over the bag, good call by the umpire. I heard a mom call him Johnny Bravo down there. I had him. Big run out there, Marty. Hello. And you know what the funny thing is? These kids probably have no idea about Johnny Bravo. Because <laughs> you know it wasn't about the music, Joe. No. <laughs> he only fit the suit. He only fit the suit. You're right. And I'm sure every single one of these kids are going, what are those guys talking about? <laughs> I think everybody here is saying that, Marty, not only the kids. I was actually thinking the other day about the Cindy Brady red light syndrome. Uh oh. <laughs> too much time to think, Marty. Oh, definitely too much time. <laughs> Shucks at third with two out here in the fifth. And Cherquina just got a piece of it. Keep it 0 and 2. Fighting it off. I'm, I'm very worried about. How often Coach Hawes looks to that third base bleacher for advice? Well, one, one of the things, I, I, I don't know if you saw him go over there. I think his, his older brother's over there. Oh, well, that. then that. <laughs> I thought he would have been looking at four from that gentleman in the gray as Sherquina gets a base hit into center field past Barna. RBI single. Sherquina, he's got to go to third. The throw. He's going to have a chance to come home. And score to make it nine nothing fire department. Now, now you're in danger right here, Marty. Another run scores. You got to score a run next time to keep the game going. So. And that's pulled right off the third base bag. Maddie Myers with his third hit of the game. Real nice job. They're pounding that third base bag tonight, Martin. It's second time this inning. Either hit it or right on top of it. They may have to look for a new bag come the end of the night. <laughs> Connor Hawes officially one for two. He's walked and singled. Maddie Myers hitting in the four spot. Three for four tonight. They, they, I, one thing I will tell you, I, I, you know, I'm impressed with fire department. They're up there swinging. They're swinging at strikes, you know, nothing, you know, and putting it in play. That's really, really, when you talk about Little League Baseball, put the ball in play and good things will happen to you. Oz pops it up and off the glove of Santana. Everybody's safe at first and second. Uh, I'm going to be teaching point right here, Marty. Teaching point. Two outs. Got to be moving, you know. And it looks like we may have, or they may just be talking to Santana. Trying to settle him in. As the 10th batter of the inning will step up in Eli Brands. Santana remains in uh, on the mound. Five 
Five run fifth to this point for fire department, leading nine nothing. And, and Legion was really hanging on all game, Marty, to not get that big part of the inning over. And it falls in between Noki and Blanyar. Everybody's safe, bases loaded. Now for the fire company. Big seven sevens coming up, Marty. Mason Bell. Was hit by a pitch earlier this inning, came around to score. The first of five for fire department. Pitch is high, one and one. Myers at third, Hawes at second, Brands at first. Five runs in, four fire department leading nine nothing. That one's high, two and one. Count of leaving it two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs on the Blaze Alexander Family Dealership scoreboard. Bases loaded, nine nothing, fire department. Hit right back up the middle for a base hit. One run is in. Haas being waved around. He will score and fire department leads at 11 nothing. Good piece of hitting. There by Bell, right back up the box. Real nice job hitting the ball right back up the box there. And uh, two big runs. Now the, the American Legion needs to score two runs, I believe, in the bottom of the fifth to keep the game Go and get through six. One and one the count on Logan Harvilla, officially 0 for 1. Was hit by a pitch, walked and scored a run. You know, one, one, one thing, you know, the, you know, there was a hit batsman in this inning, but mostly this inning, a lot of hit balls a lot, and a lot of back up the box, you know? Right back where it yep. came. County leaving at two and two. The two, two. And Santana will get the strikeout to end the inning, but not before. Fire Department puts seven on the board. Through four and a half, it's 11-0 Fire Department. Hi, I'm Marty Burns, host of a new show here on WYLN, Let's Talk Sports. We're gonna talk between our basketball and football seasons. We're gonna to talk to coaches, guests, about past seasons, events coming up, different types of things sports related. It's all gonna be here on Let's Talk Sports. And you'll be able to see it here on WYLN. We welcome you back to Freeland Little League, heading to the bottom of the fifth, a big seven run fifth for the Freeland Fire Department. Yeah, real, real nice job there by Fire Department. Just putting the ball in play, running the bases, doing everything right to to put this, put a lot of pressure on the Legion for this inning, Marty. You know,
know, and one, and one, one really, really big thing that that does, if they don't score the two runs here, you know, it, it's almost uh, guaranteed that Serkino is going to finish the game in the required amount of pitches. Coming up for the American Legion in the bottom of the fifth. Chase Moomy, Kevin Galicia, Alexander Noki. Base runners are what you need to start rallies, Marty, so that any way you can get on, just get on. Pitched four terrific innings to this point. And he's ahead in the count, no balls and two strikes. Good pitching, Marty. Coming out, throwing strikes. And just really doing a good job controlling the game from the mound. And we didn't see him really all night really overthrow Marty. It seems to be pretty smooth and easy re re delivery. And he's, he really seems to be using that pitching rubber as a, as a nice push-off yeah. point. We, yeah, we talked, we talked a little bit about that the other night, Marty. He's just rocking and firing. There's no sidestep. You know what I mean? It's just rock, fire, get to that point, release. Throw strikes. That was strikeout number 10 for Sherquina in the ball game through four and a third. Brings up Kevin Galicia, the first baseman. That one hit Galicia. Good sportsmanship there, Marty. Uh, pitcher came in. Little fist bump. Looks like Galicia is all right. And brings up Alexander Noki. And Galicia is going to take off for second. No, 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 you said any way you get on, got on. You know, could Noki put the ball in play, get a run in? We're going to find out. One and one on the left hand hitting second baseman. Two and one. Finding the groove, Marty, and like you said, he just uses the rubber, rocks back, fires. Finding that release spot, throwing strikes. And he picks up his 11th strikeout. And I think we mentioned it early on, and he's continued to do it even here into the fifth, just attacking the strike zone. Yeah, no, he is. He, he, no wasted pitches, Marty. I don't, you know, he hasn't been deep in a, a ton of counts either today. You know, uh, big play right here, Marty. Big batter. Um, Santana then the top is up, and, and we we mentioned Barna would be leading off. So this yes. is a really big out, I think, to get this out. 
and uh, end the game because you never know. <laughs> Little League, we've all been there. You're, you're up, you think you have the game in hand, and then the wheels fall off and the bus doesn't go round and round anymore. Is that because the wheels fell off? <laughs> yes, yes. I think that's how it goes. I never heard it about a bus, but you know, we'll, we'll let it go. <laughs> this one hit to the right side and through. Coming in to score is Galicia. Moving up to second is Santana. He's going to try for third. And he is going to get there as the American Legion is on the board. It's 11-1. Real nice piece of hitting there by Santana. Put it the other way. The runner on third keeps the game going to the sixth. If they hold them, if he gets the out before that runner scores, it is a 10 run rule. It's, and here comes Santana as it got away from Shuck. And Santana will score. On the wild pitch as it went off of the shin guard of Shuck, it's now 11 to 2. Two outs here, you know, and, and they, okay, you got to limit the damage here. You just don't want to get them get any more momentum than they have. Two and all the count on Jake Barna, and good to see him back in the ball yeah. game. Yeah, definitely, Marty. Great effort in that third inning. I believe it was on the ball hit by Myers. Full extension, and it looked like he was holding his shoulder leaving the field, but uh, good to see him back out there playing. Catches the outside corner for a strike two and one. <laughs> that, Marty, that never fails. When you're banged up a little bit, somebody comes oh. inside, you almost get hit. And the way he spun around, I don't know yeah. how he did. Yeah, just lucky. The 3 1. Fouled off count, goes full 3 and 2. Guess what's make it, it made his return, Joe? It's the bubble machine. Uh-oh. I see them coming up here toward the press box. As Shaquina ends up striking out the side, he's got 12 through five. But the Legion get on the board, putting two on the scoreboard. We're heading to the sixth. Freeland Fire Department 11, Freeland American Legion 2. You're watching live Little League Baseball from Freeland here on WILN. Go hog wild for Iron Pigs baseball. WYLN is televising the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs live. America's favorite pastime on your local network, WYLN TV 35. See the stars of tomorrow at Coca-Cola Park. Don't miss any of the games here on WYLN TV 35. Visit WYLNTV.com for a complete Iron Pigs schedule. Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs on WYLN, your home for live sports. Heading to the top of the sixth. Freeland American Legion putting two on the board to answer the seven. Freeland Fire Department put up in a action-packed fifth. 
Heading to the sixth, 11-2. Freeland Fire Department leading the American Legion. And that part of the order again, Marty, again, I, and, and you know, it's funny, we talked about that. The Legion did it the other day, get that bottom on, get them up, score some runs, and that's the, the difference of a, of a game, really. Get those bottom of the order guys on base, let the top hit them in, and, and tie your win in 11-2. And not to mention, really good pitching and defense tonight. And I hope that Jake Barna is still okay. He has left the game again as Noki has moved to center field. Malloy has re-entered. She's going to play left field. And yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's me too, Marty. Hopefully it's, you know. Just a matter of giving him a breather. Right. And hopefully nothing serious wrong with that young man. As uh, we got to see it Friday, a very exciting player for this American Legion squad. As the battery of Santana and Santana continue. It'll be 9 1 and 2 due up here in the sixth. Starting with Aim. Algair. <laughs> Quickly, Matthew Santana ahead in the count, no balls and two strikes. Yep, good, good job. Again, there's that we talked about that a little bit, Marty. A, you know, aiming instead of th throwing that pitch to get the the low strike, just you know, just turn and throw. Santana in relief gets his second strikeout. One down here in the sixth. Jason Gotch officially three for four, two doubles, a single, scored three times. He goes up there hacking, Marty, you know, ready to hit. Anything hittable, he's swinging, putting it in play, making things happen. That's what you want in your leadoff ad. Well, and I think you also love to say when your leadoff hitters come up to bat five times yeah. here into the sixth, you've had a pretty good night offensively. Oh, no, yeah, he scored, 11, he scored 11 runs. Lights turning on now, Marty, getting a little overcast skies. One and two the count. One of those rare times today, I think, Marty, where uh, you know, they helped the Legion out swinging out a pitch over their head. The way he hit that ball, I don't know how he got it over the first base dugout. Yeah, no. <laughs> that was definitely the old inside out swing. Oh, definitely. Count leaving at two and two. The 2 2 pitch. Bounces in there, count goes full three and two. <laughs> 
Santana winds the payoff pitch. This one hit into left field, and it's going to go down the line and all the way to the wall. Koch on his way to second. He's going to try for three. And he's there with a leadoff triple, or one-out triple, excuse me. Good piece of hitting there by Gotch, Marty. Just let the bat do the works. Swing nice down the line. Zito did a really nice job tracking that, but the speed of Gotch just got her, got him to third. Fourth of the night for Gotch. Uh, Malloy, I'm sorry, it's Malloy in the outfield. Brings up Braden Shock. Three for four, two singles, a double. Four runs batted in and he scored twice. Ken Marty, we see we've seen that several times. You know, in, in little league games, the guy when they're ducking under pitches, they're leaving the bat up. And we saw one go fair here. Last time it was a foul ball over at, at Hazel Township. You know, kids, get that bat. That, that pitch goes behind you. Get that bat down. Three and all the count on Shuck. And Shuck will draw the one out walk. So, first and third with one out here in the sixth for the Freeland Fire Department. To bring John Cherquina to the plate. Officially one for three. Two runs batted in, a single. Two runs scored. And just over the head of Bladnier in the left field for a hit. Coming in to score is Gotch, an RBI single for Cherquina, his third of the night. Pitcher helping himself there, Marty. Another run. Gets that lead back up to 10. It's now 12 to 2, and it'll bring up Matty Myers. He really hit the ball nicely tonight, Marty. Couple down the line. Matty, three for four, two singles, a double, an RBI, and a run scored. He goes up there hacking, and, and uh, like to see it. That one will find its way into center field. Shuck is being waved in. It's 13 to two, make it 14 to two on some good hustle by Sharkina. Real good hustle. change here, Marty. And we're going to just a straight position change is Alexander Noki. Now going to come in and pitch here in the sixth. Matthew Santana will go to second base. Give the fire department a different look with the left-hander coming in. Again, again, Marty, just the, you know, the, the, the Freeland Fire Department really has done a nice job just putting the ball in play tonight. You know, a couple real hard hit balls, but more just good placement, good at bats and uh, scoring runs. As we mentioned, the WYLN Little League Tour will take us to Whispering Willows Park in Cunningham coming up Thursday night, May 27th at 6th, as it'll be May Lass and Goulds. Join us for all the action from Cunningham coming up Thursday night, May 27th from Whispering Willows Park, home of Valley West Little League, May Lass and Goulds here on WYLN. You know, Marty, that, that's, that's something really to, 
to talk about a little bit the, the team sponsors for the Little League. You know, a lot of the businesses didn't have full businesses or, you know, weren't open as much, and it's good to see that teams have sponsorships and uh, uh, really taking care of these, these leagues and, and making Little League possible. And it, it's, like you say, it's strictly community pride yep. um, for these businesses and sponsors. And a lot of them are long-time oh. sponsors. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, looking out, just, I mean, some of them, some of these places were sponsors. When I played, <laughs> there's signs in the same spot, I think. Noki's first pitch outside for a ball, 1-0. Connor Hawes, the hitter, officially one for three. Walked single and scored a run. That one just missed the home plate umpire. Swinging hard. They're not, they are not getting cheated these last couple innings for the fire department. They're coming up hacking. Well, they didn't score the first two yep. innings, Joe, and then they've put up three, seven, excuse me, three, one, seven, and three so far here in the sixth. bad you know coming in pitching just missed count will go full three and two pet peeve Marty the pet peeve I have in hot night the catchers probably caught 200 <laughs> 200 pitches in six innings I don't know what they're throwing but you got to throw that pit that the, the ball back to the pitcher so he doesn't have to work for it. You know, one, one thing with Noki being a lefty, you could see some of the right-handers, you know, at least Hawes that time, wasn't real comfortable with that ball kept breaking in on him a little bit. Key second out here in the sixth. Eli Brand steps in, officially one for three, single. You know, I've, I've, I'm always amazed when, when you see left-handers play. Just that natural tail on the ball, that spin that they have. I'm not sure why that is, or, but it's a really big advantage in baseball. Two and one the count. Get a good look at Matty Myers on first. Two down here in the sixth. His fire department leading 14 to two. And three and one the count on Eli Brands. Count goes full, three and two. You know, one, one thing you find out in games like this, Marty, sometimes you find out some kids that maybe you haven't pitched. Hey, maybe we could use uh, a pitch them in games. And it's, you know, it's really good. This one hits to the right side, right at Santana to end the inning. But the fire department adds three more on two hits. Heading to the bottom of the sixth. 14-2, Freeland Fire Department in front. WYLN programming is online all the time. Visit our website at WYLNTV.com to check out archive shows and a live stream of our broadcasts. And don't forget to visit all of our social media pages for breaking news, weather, and sports. You can also head directly to our YouTube page for all our programming at YouTube.com slash WYLNTV35. Subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified every time there's a new show available online. We welcome you back to Gus Spiel Memorial Park, home of the Freeland Little League, heading to the bottom of the sixth. The fire company 
leading 14 to two over the Freeland American Legion. Big right-hander John Cherquina entering the sixth inning. He has struck out 12. And he is gonna face two, three, and four here in the sixth, Gavin Juracek, Jared Santana, Aliyah Blanyar. Some middle of the order stuff here, Marty. Um, again, no free passes. Don't let them run. Don't, you know, don't throw the ball around. Just get outs, and you should be out of here. I like how you say should because oh, we, we've I'm seen plenty. See, uh, Marty, I, you know, and, and working in youth sports and, and around Wise and Little Leagues and junior high programs and high school programs for as long as I've been, you see just about everything. And it'll be Gavin Juracek to lead off here in the sixth. Marty, just really, like, and uh, you really did call it. Just watch, uh, you know, if we should keep that center field angle. He's just rocking and firing. You see it right here. Just step up, rock, fire. Not a lot to uh, to fix if uh, something's wrong, you know what I mean? It's just... Uh, and he's ahead in the count of ball and two strikes. Biggest thing I, I would say just looking at him is when he's able to really keep his balance, mm -hmm. that's when he's really peppering that strike zone. When he starts getting a little off balance, that's when his ball tends to get away from him. Yeah. But yep. for I, the most part, you can see him. He stays balanced. He throws hard and he throws strikes. And it's hard to teach young pitchers that, you know, the mound, you're, you, you're, you could work on the mound between pitches. You don't like your footing. They, you know, that, that's good pitchers will get to learn that. The count has gone full, three and two. The 3-2 pitch. And for the second time in the ball game, Gavin Juracek walks. Not exactly the way you wanted to start it. It's gonna bring up the catcher, Jared Santana. Part of the battery, Santana and Santana, right? Legion players still in it, Marty, cheering in the dugout. Yeah. And you're a check. Chugs his way to second. Got to be careful, you know, down 12 runs. You know, you can't make a base running area and get thrown out there and pass balls, you're moving. And your check will now move to third. That again, that was one of the ones I think Marty he overthrew a little bit, like you said. Just reared back through a little too hard. Three and one the count on Santana. And as as a as a manager, and, and Co Coach Oz is over there looking like 
Oh, no, don't walk. You know, you, you know, we don't want to walk people. You don't want to make this more complicated than it has to be. And Santana walks, so two walks to start the inning. Brings up Aaliyah Blanyar. And this may be it. And you almost wonder when you talked about her, Chiquina would rear back and fire. Was he almost running out of gas? Out of gas, yep. I agree, Marty, but he did. Pitched, pitched a heck of a game. Yeah, real good game, Marty. Real good game. And, you know, on pitching changes, one, one thing that's overlooked is, uh, you know, the moms that are sitting up here saying, oh, my kid's not pitching today. Now your kid's pitching. <laughs> it's always. Uh, Interesting to see that 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 part of the game. This is going to end 14 We have some uh, predicting going on up in the booth here. Yeah, well. Cherquina will go off the mound and head to shortstop. Gotch goes from the other side of second to play second. The new pitcher is the right-hander Connor Haas. Long, long line of uh, baseball players named Haas and Freeland. It's been gone back a long time. Uh, you know, and they're all they're all pretty much built the same, tall lanky kids and uh you know he'll be he'll be uh you know he's sure he's one of the the younger players on the roster but i'm sure he'll get those long legs like dad That, you know, one, one thing with the, you know, he's a little bit so, slower than Serquina was. You know, you got to be patient. You know, one thing you see is you see you go, kids kids are geared up for that little faster pitch, and you're just out in front of everything, and you just, you, 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 you swing so, so early, you almost hit it on the backswing. Get a look at the young right-hander. Finishing up his warm-up tosses. Looks like we're ready to resume. Zalia Blanyar steps in. First and third, nobody out here in the bottom of the sixth. It's 14-2. Freeland Fire Department in front. First pitch swinging is Blanyar. And just as you mentioned, a little out in front. Way out in front. Out of play, left field side. <laughs> left fielder ran to the fence, Marty. Slid back into his position. I love it. Well, he was very excited, I noticed, last inning off his big RBI single that I think he was reenacting the swing out yeah. there a couple times. Doing a little Paul O'Neill. He's doing the, what did they call it? What did Paul O'Neill do? They called it the, the samurai or. Uh, yeah. yeah. Santana moved up to second. So it's second and third, nobody out, but Haas is ahead in the count of ball and two strikes. Okay, a lot, a lot, you know, impressed with all the younger kids and the pitchers that came in. For the most part, everybody threw strikes tonight, Marty, not too bad. Count will even at two and two. <laughs> that one's hit into center field. It's gonna drop for a hit. Santana being waved in. Blanier on her way to third. 
It's now 14 to four. Nice piece of hitting there by Blagnar. And, and, and again, you let those base runners on. That's the first time tonight the walks on base for uh, fire department have, you know, they, they let them get on and the Legion came through Blagnar with a nice base hit. And that's, and that's, you know, that's what Hawes has to do here is, you know, throw strikes, let them hit it because you they have to score 10 runs. You only need to get three outs. So <laughs> all the other stuff, you just need three outs. Chris Loki, the hitter. Popped up in the infield. Sherquina makes the call. And I think... Blanier may have lost track of the outs. They're going to double her up at third as she took off her home. The double play unassisted by Cherquina empties the bases and quickly two out. Tough one there, Morty. Uh, you know. And it looks like re entering will be Xavier Morales. The original starting third baseman. No balls and two strikes. Outside one and two. Count evens at two and two to Morales. And Hawes will get the strikeout to end the game. As the Freeland Fire Department Big rush at the end. Come away with a 14-4 victory over the American Legion. That, and run, that run to the outfield, Mar Marty, always better when you win. Look at catcher didn't even take off his equipment. I love it. Good job by well, good job by both teams. Really played hard. Uh, Again, just great to see baseball back, Little League baseball back, uh, some normalcy for these guys. And uh, it's good. It's even good for us old guys to see this, I think. Amen to that, my friend. And uh, Freeland Fire Department got uh, a lot of big offensive uh, efforts tonight. Four hits from Gotch. Four runs batted in for Shuck. Matty Myers had three hits, but uh, I think it started at the mound, Joe, Joe is uh, John Cherkina. Five plus innings, did not give up a hit, gave up four runs, three earned, walked four and struck out 12. And uh, two of those walks came late in the ball game. I thought Cherkina from the start was attacking the strike zone and uh, getting outs off of it. Yeah, no, no doubt, Marty. And and hey, one one thing, on that on the double play there in the sixth inning, Shurkina caught it and tugged third. So you know, 14 of those putouts were his through the strikeout. And and again, I think that's where it all started and ended. They hit the ball well. They 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 did a great job of that. Pitching and defense really set the tone. I think early in this game, 
bats came alive later, but the constant the whole game was Sakino pitching well. And the Freeland Fire Department will come away with the 14-4 victory over the American Legion. We say so long from Freeland. For our director, Barry Jayas. Stats by Jim Burns. For Joe Flanagan, I'm Marty Burns saying so long. Join us Thursday night, May 27th, a week from tomorrow, as we'll head to Whispering Willows Park in Cunningham, home of the Valley West Little League. May Lassen Golds will be on the air at 6 for live Little League baseball. This has been a WILN sports special presentation. Thank you for joining us from Freeland. Have a great evening. You're watching WYLN TV 35.